Hey guys, Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. Hope you guys are doing well. If you like storage, uh, I have added a new Synology DS1621XS Plus NAS device to the home lab environment. 10 gig connectivity, it's got two NVMe slots and it's powered by a Xeon 2.2 gigahertz processor. Now, one of the first things that I wanted to do is to provision an iSCSI target for my VMware vSphere infrastructure. Stick around, I'm gonna show you guys the steps to create the iSCSI LUN in Synology and add this to VMware vSphere. Okay guys, so we are ready to begin the configuration of the iSCSI target from the Synology web interface. So what I've done is I've logged into the Synology web interface and I'm going to navigate to the uh, main menu. And so we're going to go to main menu. We're going to go to uh, the uh, SAN manager and we're gonna launch SAN Manager. And if you notice, we've got many options here that we can configure. Uh, we're going to navigate to iSCSI. I'm gonna click iSCSI. Uh, notice we have no targets currently. This is just a clean environment uh, at the moment. So we're gonna click Add on uh, adding a iSCSI target. First thing we're asked to do is to name the iSCSI target. So I'm gonna call this vSphere uh, target 01. vSphere dash target 01. Now, I'm not gonna do anything with CHAP authentication currently. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna click next. And in one fell swoop, the wizard will ask us to also create a new LUN if there's not one available. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to uh, create a new LUN. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to call this vSphere LUN01. Uh, we can put a description if we want. Uh, it shows us that we're taking this from the available storage uh, on the NAS currently. Uh, we're going to set the capacity of this particular iSCSI LUN. So I'm going to set that at 100. And then we've got the choice to do either thick or thin provisioning. So I'm just going to leave it at the default of thick uh, since we're using a small one anyway. I'm just going to leave that as thick. We're going to say next. And we arrive at the confirmation page. So we just uh, we can review our settings. Uh, then we simply click done. Now, uh, quick as that, we have an iSCSI target configured. Now there's a couple of settings that I want to uh, have you guys note when you, you are setting this up, especially for virtualization purposes. Um, you want to click the edit button and under the advanced tab, there is a checkbox that we most likely in most environments you're going to want to check this off for your uh, iSCSI target on your Synology and that is to allow multiple sessions from one or more iSCSI initiators. Now what this means is that if you have more than one host that you want to be able to access this iSCSI target, then you need to check this box. Otherwise, it's only going to allow one connection uh, to this iSCSI target. So we're going to check the box for allow multiple sessions from one or more iSCSI initiators. And then the last setting that I want to uh, point you guys' attention to is under the Network Binding tab. By default, the iSCSI target will be available over all the network connections available on the Synology. So in most environments, you may have this storage device spread across multiple networks, maybe an untrusted network or one that's used for another purpose. Uh, in addition to the iSCSI uh, connectivity. So here you can actually scope the iSCSI connectivity down by selecting the radio button, only selected interfaces. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say LAN2 uh, connection in my case. I'm going to scope it down there. And then I'm going to just simply hit the save button. And again, we have our uh, target configured. So to continue the configuration, what we need to do is hop over to the vSphere side and, and pick it up from there. Okay, so we are now ready to continue the configuration of adding the Synology iSCSI target in VMware vSphere by picking that configuration back up on the VMware vSphere side. 
So what you see here is a lab environment that I have configured uh, in the home lab. This is actually a nested cluster of ESXi servers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick one of these servers to add the iSCSI target, just to show you guys how this is completed. So I'm gonna look at ESX1. One of the first things that we're going to do with adding the iSCSI target is we need to add the iSCSI software adapter to our VMware vSphere ESXi host. Now to do that, we're gonna to navigate to, click on the host, we're gonna to go to configure, and storage adapters. And then under storage adapters, we see this uh, plus button that says add software adapter. So we're gonna click that. It brings up the dialog box and we can click the add software iSCSI adapter, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave that radio button selected. We're gonna click okay. And that will install the iSCSI software adapter. So we saw that just now pop in. So what we need to do next is we need to click the adapter. And as you see, once you click the adapter, you have a number of uh, configuration options or tabs, if you will, at the bottom of the vSphere client that, that uh, pop up. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to the network port binding uh, tab. Now, setting up a network port binding is essentially just telling v, uh, VMware vSphere uh, ESXi server which IP address we're going to use uh, to connect to this iSCSI target. So I'm going to click Network Port Binding. I'm going to click the Add button uh, over to the left. And as you can see, I've got a couple that are already available. This cluster is actually a VMware vSAN cluster, so it's running uh, vSAN. Uh, so we've got a vSAN data store. So we're gonna see that VM kernel uh, adapter there. But for simplicity, what we're gonna do in this demonstration is just simply use the management network uh, vSwitch VM kernel address, which is uh, just simply an IP address. Um, in production environments, you're going to configure a dedicated iSCSI VM kernel address. Now, it just so happens this lab environment, the network address lives on the same network as the iSCSI address uh, on the Synology that we just set up. Uh, so I'm just gonna simply use the management VM kernel adapter. Just wanted you guys to be aware of that detail. So I'm gonna click the checkbox next to the VM kernel address. We're going to click OK. And then on uh, dynamic discovery, uh, I'm going to enter the details of the iSCSI target. Now, you can either do dynamic or static. Uh, the only difference is if you, for the most part, if you have everything set up correctly, the dynamic discovery will discover the target name and everything for you. It's kind of more of an automatic means to do that. Whereas if you do static, you have to copy and paste your target identically in there. Uh, just copy that from your Synology, which either way works. Uh, but for simplicity, again, we're gonna click dynamic discovery. We're gonna click add. And then I am going to type in the IP address of the Synology iSCSI target. We're going to leave the default port and here at authentication settings we're going to click OK. Now as you can see we've added the iSCSI target. Now if you notice we get the little uh, informational tip that says that we need to uh, rescan the adapter. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, basically the rescan just says hey there are changes that have been made. I'm going to scan the uh, storage adapter and I'm gonna see what changes I see are in effect. So then after we've rescanned, what we should be able to do is navigate to the paths uh, tab and we should see our target. And we do in this case, we see we've uh, got the uh, runtime name, we've got the target listed, active, IO, and it's green. Uh, so if you see those pieces of information, you can be confident that you've got connectivity to the iSCSI target. We right click, we go to storage, and then we go to new data store. So we're gonna click new data store. 
We're going to make this a VMFS uh, data store because we're going to uh, be formatting it with VMFS. So we're going to uh, select it. We're going to click next. We're going to name the data store Synology iSCSI. Uh, let's put an 01 on there in case we had a new one. Um, so we've named it and then we select the available storage that is listed in the name and device selection. So we're going to click the radio button. Uh, telling it that we're going to take this 100 gig LUN that we discovered and we're going to uh, add this as a data store, format it with VMFS. So we're going to click next. We can select the VMFS version, which by default we want to use the latest and greatest uh, VMFS 6. I'm going to click next. So we're going to just simply click next and we're ready to complete the operation. So at this point, we just click finish and we don't really see anything obvious happen but now for this host if we navigate to the data stores uh, we will see the Synology iSCSI one has been created and added to the ESXi host. So as you guys can see the steps to provision iSCSI and the Synology DS1621XS Plus and add that iSCSI target LUN to VMware vSphere is very straightforward. It's only just a few steps. So I'm Brandon Lee once again. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Please do uh, hit thumbs up on the video, like the video, and hit subscribe on the channel. I think you'll like future videos we have in store. I'll see you guys soon.